you know, I don't want bottles to stay on a platform, on a very exploitative platform, mm. at least in my opinion. Where would it be going? Um, to GitLab? If it did leave GitLab. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, either GitLab or Gnome's GitLab, because mm. we're trying, um, we're trying to make it um, reapplied to Gnome Circle. Um, mm. We're slowly fixing um, the reviews. Like, what? sorry, we're slowly uh, addressing reviews. What is Gnome um, Circle? Oh, hold on. Let me. So, <clears throat> give me a second. Uh, uh, let me just get applications the link. and libraries extending the Gnome ecosystem. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they're just third-party apps um, that use GNOME technologies. Right. Yeah, and it's so nice we're trying to get bottles in GNOME Circle, mm -hmm. um, among with many third-party applications. And I think that if it gets accepted to GNOME Circle, we also have the benefit some of the benefits from it. Like we can move our repo to GNOME's GitLab. Mm. Um, we can. Uh, Gnome, they have their own um, nightly flatpak remote, so we can make uh, uh, we can release experimental builds, nightly uh, experimental builds, uh, to the Gnome uh, remote, so other people can test as well. So oh, there yeah. is still some benefits from that. Um, let me find the link. Hmm. Uh, I had not heard about this. That's cool. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Um, they're trying to. I mean, we already know at this point, mm -hmm. Gnome, they're trying to make it an actual platform. Um, which is nice. I, th I completely respect that. <laughs> One of the benefits you get is a gnome.org e email. <laughs> very important, uh, very important benefit you get. <laughs> um, well, you must brag about it, of course. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Just imagine a... Imagine like just an outsider, they they look and you have the gnome dot org because they don't know what gnome is. So yeah. for them, it's gonna be an actual gnome. <laughs> oh I, man, that's I have epic. had um I have had some outsiders show up on random videos where I mention gnome, and they're like, I have no idea what the hell this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I can see why. Yeah, it's um, um is it? you know not exactly the uh. Most SEO friendly name, we'll say. <laughs> yep. At least uh, with like KDE, you're like, okay, I don't know what a KDE is, but I cl it's clearly not something. O Does KDE stand for anything? I have no idea, actually. I've I've never even thought about that. Not, uh, not anymore. Before, as far as I know, it used to stand for Cool Desktop Environment with a K. <laughs> um, <laughs> that sounds like something that would happen. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, now that name was like slowly, well, slowly became re redundant. Mm -hmm. Even GNOME, in case you don't know, it's an acronym uh -huh. for GNU Network Object Model Environment. <laughs> um, don't don't ask why I memorized this, <laughs> but even that doesn't mean anything anymore. It's GNOME is just GNOME nowadays. GNOME Network. Oh, I I don't remember what you just said. <laughs> Uh, g um, GNU Network Object Model Environment. I'm gonna forget that in five minutes again. <laughs> what Should a I name. just write it down? <laughs> what a name. <laughs> yep. But hey, at least they uh they got rid of that name. It's it just it's just GNOME now. Yeah, yeah. 